and good evening. My name is John, and I'm playing Nuclear Throne as part of my Steam Cleaning series, where I go through all the games in my Steam library. And I have played this game once or twice just to make sure I recorded well. But other than that, I am a fresh baby when it comes to Nuclear Throne. Play normal. We have a couple characters unlocked. I'm gonna play as melting. More hit points, more less hit points, more rad. So this is a as a roguelike with uh, gunplay and uh, kind of a gross out aesthetic. So the character I'm playing as here, he dies in one hit. So probably not the best choice for someone at my skill level. Oh no, I didn't want to go through right away. Oh, so many bullets. Yep, died. Let's try that again. So it's a fast paced game, uh, you get uh, leveled up and you can mutate your character to get stronger. I kind of really need... Uh, I don't want to cross though. I kind of really need to get a hit point up really early on. Also, I'm really bad at crossbow. I didn't level up either, I was like, ah, oh, randomness, what are you gonna do? Everything hurts! There's level two. Plus the bosses, tons of weapons. Oh good, a health pack. Carry two guns at a time. Wrench, I don't want a melee weapon. Alright, so leveled up. Get a mutation here. More higher max ammo, some kills generated, less enemy, better accuracy. Really want the hit points up, but we're gonna go with less than the So it takes fewer shots to kill stuff. Boss appears. No dodge. Alright, boss takes care of. So let's keep on rolling. Hold on. SMG, I will take the SMG over my revolver. 
Alright, we gained a couple levels there. Max ammo, regenerate hit points. Uh, select two. What? I want health up. Alright, we're in the sewers. Oh. So I'm gonna switch characters here, and we're gonna try out the fish. Because he actually can take a hit and not die instantly. Hey, it's a sweet combat roll. Laser pistol, huh? All right, laser pistol. More melee range, prevents death ones, shells bounce. You can do So it's about fast runs, doing stuff right away. Getting dead, doing it again. You know, all Explosive corpse. Come on, four hit point boost. LA. I need that plus four hit points. Laser pistol. I don't know if I want a laser pistol. So you only carry two weapons, so you can often trade based on ammo types. Doing all right. Level three. Big bandito. Grady there, a lot of help for that, that uh, experience that I died for.
The, qu the laser sight's nice on the crossbow, though. I think enemies in the village are fast to make it worthwhile. Accuracy, homing. Well, homing. I feel bad because I took that level up for bolts and I don't have to hold on for a while. Alright. Mutate later, kill we reload time. Quick save, don't mind. There you go. You don't mind a little bit of back and forth. I feel like this guy is the one who pays off the most. I just not suck early on or get lucky on my first mutation. Theoretically, getting hit should. If you don't get hit, then you don't care about the low max health. Of course, what happens in theory? No! The IDPD. Alright, got a good gun. Goes through bullets at a rate, though. Special to make corpses. Not sure how good that is, but I should, should use it. Cause it's fun. All right. Bigger corpse you can later. I like this one. So I didn't even see what killed me there.
That's slime. Make it. No, I'm good. All right, plus four health. That's what I want. Good start. I can take that hit. Start, but then I got trapped in the middle of the wall. It's frustrating at times. There's a lot of enemies. Stupid cactus. Scary face. I like the feel of the new vessel. Twenty one bolts. Oh, that's it. Wow. It's weird how the end, end, the exit didn't appear right by the. Uh... Oh, I walked right into that one. So yeah, this is basically the show. The levels. The mutations. Try not to die. Don't be like me. I like this one because I get to practice. I need to practice, practice, practice. Practice dodging. Get the basics down. Fundamentals. Not running into the I was trapped! <laughs> alright, alright, good start, good start. Who do you think you are? Little baby slug. Alright, mutate later. Track some generic ammo.
So far, so good. You know, I shouldn't get the screwdriver over. times to learn all the combos. There we go. Finally made it past the big bonito. Turns out a few grenades to the face will do that. Crossbow, no. If I had homing boats, I would. Buddy, buddy. Okay, that guy is... Walked right into it, not greedy. Bullets 
that mean I'll have basically regenerating ammo? in this game, compared to other games, is that they're very weapon specific early on, and I prefer if it was more like homing bullets versus homing bolts, because it kind of restricts what you can do based on if you've been lucky enough to get uh, certain items. I know it's a minor thing, but... Corpses there, okay. Max and HP points, so they are final run here.
<sighs> Breather. Okay. Alright, a little low on health. Alright, I think I got two level ups? No, one. It's your chest, shells, bounce, enemies. Uh, I need an extra chest. Shotgun shoulders. This has been Nuclear Throne. Uh, I think it's a pretty easy game if you like the fast-paced roguelike restart kind of mentality of it. Um, it's settings a little gross, I admit that, but uh, it doesn't bother me much, but it's up to you what you like. Music's decent. Um, challenges way through the roof. There are lots of characters to play as. So let's just go look real quick. With different abilities and stuff. There's also co-op, which can be fun. We've got fish, you can roll. Crystal has more max HP. Sees in the dark until it releases. Melt, but we played mostly a plant faster and snare at So there's lots of, uh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I guess I haven't unlocked uh, additional. Unlocks there. And a skin if I get there without Rhino Skater Strong Spirit. So there's probably lots of unlocks to get to. And characters that just are not available for me. But there you go. Nuclear Throne, check it out. Cheers.